Today on Singles Court, Dwayne and Farah had a terminal relationship. She started talking to me about settling okay, down, and I'm all, just not the type of guy up, who settles he down. Me. He's taken off, but she won't admit the trip's been canceled. Everyone at the airport, all the women, think I'm still going out with her because she tells everybody I'm still going out with her. And Ariana says their love is dying because of Monty's school plans. I want to go to college to better myself. She wants to kick me to the curb. Why would you not stand behind him with his desire to better himself? Listen, if I wanted to date a student, I would date a student. I don't want to date this a kid. This is what all I right? got to live with. All no, all no, 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 no. Ease up on that. Check it out. I'm David Knight, and welcome to Singles Court, the number one show here on the Singles Broadcast Network. This is the place where singles come to straighten out their messy relationship difficulties. And who better to help them than the nationally syndicated relationship expert, Angela Siegel. Hello, David. How are you doing? Pretty well today, actually, yeah. Well, you know, I'm starting to get put, it, put together all my information for the best pickup lines. Is that right? Yeah, and you'd be surprised. I'm telling you, everybody's hitting the website. It's like bursting over, but most of them have this. They're pretty much the same. Yeah, there's about five that are always sort of out there, yeah, you, know? you know? I like the one, like if a guy asks you to buy, a, to buy you a drink, yeah. you just ask and you have the money instead. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. Right to the point. <laughs> well, getting right to the point here, uh, I'd like you to meet Dwayne and Farah. Now, they both work at an airport together. Dwayne is a baggage handler, and Farah is uh, working in security. Now, Dwayne broke up with Farah several months ago, but he thinks she's still telling people that they're still going out. Uh, now, she says she can't help what other people are saying. So I call this the case of breakup baggage. Well, Dwayne, sounds like you guys have a little bit of suitcase trouble. What's going on? Yeah, okay, well, the, we, we dated for about a year. We met at the airport, which is where I meet most of the women I date or go out with. And we didn't date. We were, going, we were going steady for a year. We were going a, steady, fine. We were going steady, but we broke up two months ago, and, and, and she started talking to me about, about marriage and settling okay. down. First and I'm of all, just not the type of guy up. who settles down. Me. I like, you, I like to have up. a free run of the, the wild. That's why you're at the airport. I understand. You there's know, a lot scheduling. Of, I understand. There's it. a lot of beautiful women at the airport. That's part of the why, I keep, why I keep the job. Well, right why now. were you going out with me for a year then? And about the marriage thing, that is not true. He was a full, fully willing for the marriage thing. He talks as if this was like why we broke up. That is not the way that went at all. I, I, he was totally into it. I never thought she was serious at all about getting married. Oh, he thought I was joking married. about I getting mean, married. I mean, we're having fun. We're young. We're we having... were having fun. Let me give you a little clue. Most women, if they talk about marriage, aren't joking. Just for future endeavors, just That's so you true. know. That's true. I'll back that up for sure. <laughs> Just so you know. Okay, well, most men then don't Are. want to really get to that subject. <laughs> well, then they know? should say so. They shouldn't go along and pretend as if they're into it. Anyway, I, I, wanted, I wanted to break up because I'm not, I didn't want to get serious. I did not want to get married. You were already serious. We were together for a okay, year. Okay, but you <sighs> broke up. He didn't want to get married. I mean, okay, let's move on, please. Okay, so. This, if this were at the airport, you'd get in trouble for delaying the flight. So, we broke up, but everyone at the airport, all the women, think I'm still going out with her because she tells everybody <laughs> I'm still going out with her. Is that true? No. I can't have any, I can't get any dates right now Not because true. all he the women think- He can't get dates because he's a loser. It has nothing to do with oh, what I say mm, or don't yeah, say. Yeah, that's a good well, one. Well, why do you think it's just because she says you're going out with her? I mean, because that's pretty easy to verify. You know, you just walk the girl over and say, look, uh, okay. are we going together? Uh, yeah. Example, example. I, there's this beautiful woman who just started working at the airport. Oh, please, right? she wasn't that she beautiful. She was beautiful. She was not she's that beautiful. beautiful. Okay. okay she's, so I, I, I asked her out. And she went, fine, great. So we went out on a there you beautiful go. dinner. There you go. didn't have trouble getting We went there. on a beautiful dinner, had some nice wine, went back to her place, had a little bit of a makeout session. And, you know, the next day I go to work thinking, okay, we're going to have lunch and some smiles. <laughs> oh. I go up to her. She, she worked at the ticket agency. And I go up there, and, and she gives me that look. Who she does? Who? The woman I went on the date with. Oh. I'm excited. We're going to have lunch. Maybe, you know, what, an look afternoon. That you know, but but we go. I go up there, and she's she looks at me, and she goes, "You lying, two-faced bastard." Like, how do I have? 
have anything to do with this? Tell I me. Don't know. Because Let's you're telling out. everybody we're still going out. I've never but did she this girl. Did she tell whoever this girl is that? I mean, did she, did she tell her that? I don't you even know. The girl. I, I don't know if she her. told her, but all the other girls at the at the airport told her this. Told and I'm who sitting. What? And I'm sitting here trying to explain, and she won't even listen to me. Okay, but don't you think that maybe that's an issue? The fact that you met her, you guys got along, and now all of a sudden she takes other people's word over yours. Why? <laughs> there you go. No, but the thing is, the point is, she isn't telling anyone that we're broken up. So Are everybody you? thinks we're still going out. So what do you say? What? When everybody else thinks you're going out and you're not, what do you say? Like, I say I'm not going out, but they, they won't even listen to me at that point. They already think I'm a two-timing bastard. Well, how is it up to me to tell, to tell everybody what he does with his life or whether he's seeing me or not? I, I don't understand. What, what are you telling people? Because, I'm not telling them anything. Okay, so if somebody says, are you still dating Dwayne, what do you say? Yeah, what do you, do, what do you say? What do you say? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. No, I just don't say anything. Oh, right. Mm. So you're sitting you're in a coffee shop with some point. girlfriends. Excuse me? You're and they, that point. And they say, so are you dating Dwayne? And you go... Nobody's asked me that, that <laughs> oh, directly. Come on, Farah. And then you, I, I come just jump off the baggage can Shut in the cart yesterday, okay? <laughs> just what? like the, you know, the luggage goes around at the airport, that's how your story's going around. <laughs> and nobody's picking it up. Okay, I maybe, uh, you know what? I don't, I do not tell people that I am going out with him. Okay, well what do you tell them? Back to my same question. I tell them that he's a loser. <laughs> Hmm, oh, that okay. makes a lot of sense. Okay. Made, uh, you, you happened to date that okay, loser Okay, the truth is, is that I can't talk oh, about it, Oh, here's the right? truth, so be the quiet. The truth is, is I can't talk about it because he dumped me. I went out with him for a year. I thought we were going to get married. He dumped me, dumped me for absolutely no reason. I have no life. I do not know what to do with myself. I sit no around life. home. Is I watch TV. Is that what you're TV. saying? You have no I life? I may not answer oh, people's questions oh, okay. directly. You have no that life, but you're true. still dating me. But then who's I, the guy in the I red MGB? Who's the guy in the red MGB? Who picked you up three times last week? Excuse me. How about, how about letting us in on this? Okay, what are you talking about, the guy in the MGB? What is last that? week, three times last week, you got picked up by some guy, some really cheesy how looking guy. How do you know? You're not you dating or what do you me? care? I, I, have, I, I can't go out on a date, so I go on, I, I'm, I know it's her that's, that's messing with me. So you're what, following her around? Well, we work in the airport, it's not that big a place. I saw her The airport's not that big a place. It's a big place, I think. The airport's a big place. In other when, words, if, you made an if, effort to see that somebody you're picked up your you're, If you're suspicious of someone, you're going to try and find, it, find out if there's truth behind it. Behind what? What would you be finding out while you're she watching her being picked up? She, about me she has a boyfriend. So? Yeah, so? So she's lying. She's a liar. You Excuse are a liar. Me? How am I a liar? Telling other people that you don't have a boyfriend, that you're still dating me, but you have a boyfriend on the sly is lying. Okay. Well, he's got a point. Listen. Do you have a boyfriend on the... You know, you know, it is about whether I have lying. a boyfriend. <laughs> Why is this about whether I have a boyfriend? And if you want to talk about lying, let me tell you something. This girl, this is what happened, okay? He asked a girl to go out with him two weeks prior to breaking up with me. How was that then, lying? Then, How was that lying? Did you then, tell her? Wait a second, there's more. dating somebody else? I oh, wasn't dating more. her. I never, he I never dated. He was dating me. He was, we were, had been going out for one yeah, year. I was going out with you. Then he asked a girl to go out with him two weeks before he broke up with me. I, he, he went out with me. He had sex with me for two weeks, knowing full well that in two weeks he was going to break up with me and take this girl. He had sex with me in the morning and then took this girl. That's not then lying. He had sex That's with me. That's not lying. He broke up with me. I broke up with you before. He had sex with me, then broke up with me, then went out with a girl the same day. Okay, so let me guess. You did her a favor because you broke up with her before you actually had sex with the other girl? Yeah. Oh, okay. See? Well, well you know what? Loser. That's not cheating. I, That's not lying. Both of you are, are like honorary members of the Liars Club. I'll be back with my resolution. No. The best thing that ever happened to the two of you was breaking up. Dwayne, your sour grapes are really counterproductive. When you're at work, you should be working instead of checking up on Farrah and trying to look and see where she is. You know, don't flatter yourself, but it's hard for me to believe that the only reason a woman wouldn't date you is because of a rumor. You know, if you were in high school, maybe I'd believe you, but the fact that you're a grown man with a job, I don't believe it. You know, Farrah, <laughs> you must shop at the same fruit stand because you, you have a lot of sour grapes also. And when I think about just the fact of how much time and energy it's taken out of your life, your daily activities, you're focused on revenge and who's a liar. And you know, you said, I don't have a life. Well, get one. You need to get a life. You know, if he moved on. He moved on because he wasn't interested. Dwayne was not interested in you, period. I know nobody likes that, but that's the gist of the matter. There's, no, not, there's nothing you can do about that. That's the way it is. 
You know, when you think about uh, relationships and the fact that when a relationship is over, you have to understand when it's over, it's over. But your responsibility is not to let the anger become part of your daily life. Both of you let the anger become the focus of, your, of both of your lives, your day-to-day -day activities. You focus so much on who's doing what and whose fault it was and, and you know, who dumped who and you were no longer thinking about your next new relationship and what I can do better so it doesn't happen to me again. You lost focus. And when you lose focus in anger, not only is it counterproductive, but you also lose part of you. So all I can say to both of you is obviously you're not together, nor do I recommend you get back together. You know, just because you work at the airport, it doesn't mean you can't lose the luggage. Get it? That's that, the final word. Next on Singles Court, Ariana says their love is dying because of Monty's school plans. I want to go to college to better myself. She wants to kick me to the curb. Why would you not stand behind him with his desire to better himself? Listen, if I wanted to date a student, I would date a student. I don't want to date this a student. This is what right? I got left with. Oh, no, 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 no. Ease up. Welcome back to Singles Court. Well, we have two more singles joining us, and these people have a problem. And who better to help them than the woman with the word, nationally syndicated relationship expert, Angela Siegel. The final word, David. I have to keep telling you it's the, the final, final word. The final word. You know, not just those, the word. Not it's just the, the word. final word. That's right. That's I got right. you. Got to get it right. Got to okay. get it right. Got to get it right. <laughs> All right, Angela. Uh, let's see if we can get this one right. Uh, okay. Now, we have Monty and Ariana. Now, Monty is an auto mechanic, and Ariana is a computer technician. Now, ever since Monty announced he's going back to college, Ariana has started to distance herself from him. Monty wonders how can she begrudge him if he's just trying to have a higher education. But Ariana says she's just too old to live with a student. Welcome to the case of the back to school blues. Ariana, most people are happy when the person that they're with wants to go on to school. What's the problem? I think I should go first. <laughs> okay. I guess so. We've been seeing each other for about three years. Everything's good, you know, love life's great. About two months ago, I told her I want to go to college. Love life just died. Just died? What do you mean, just died? <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, no, see, no. Our love life just She's died. She's a hypocrite. Listen, if I wanted to date a Excuse student, me. I would date a student. I don't want to date this a kid. This is what right? I got to live with. Oh, no, 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 no. Ease up on that. Check it out. She went to her, uh, what, what do you call that thing? What, computer school? Thank you. Ask her who supported her, who paid the bills. What, and did I force you to? No. I did it because I love her. Oh, you answered it. I guess it was she. No, no, right? no, no, no. See, it's a man's job to stay this woman. See? Oh, well, I stood well, behind her. Now, I want to go to college to better myself. She wants to kick me to the curb. I don't... Ask her that. <laughs> well, I mean, he does have a point. If he stood behind you so you could better yourself, why would you not Excuse stand me. Behind? She had carpal... You told me to ask no, her? No, 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 no. She, she had carpal tunnel syndrome. For every night, I had to massage her wrist. She couldn't hold the remote for a week. Okay. Oh, that's a I was there. Maybe oh. that's a man's job, too. <laughs> oh, that's no, no, no. Well, okay, fine, fine. I'll, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Right. Okay, but, let, let you. You told me to ask her, but you haven't let me ask her. So, mm -hmm. why would you not stand behind him with his desire to better himself? Well, if it, it's not just the school, it's well, what, what is, he. Listen, will you just please ask him what kind of college he's, he plans to go to? No, no. See, does no. it matter? Yes, it does matter. Okay, because that that's ain't my important. problem. That ain't important. It's not just any college. She wants a house. She wants everything. Okay, which is no problem. Ask her where she was last you Friday. <laughs> ask her where Wait, she was. No, no. Ask her no. where she was you know, last Friday for three Monty. hours at seven o'clock. Monty. Let me, in the washroom. Monty. She was in the washroom. Yeah, and what? No, no. I what, read. You don't use the washroom. I read Cosmo. You don't use the washroom. Yeah. Cosmo said a woman got to use about an hour and a half, right? About three hours later, I take a step inside. Guess what I saw? You might as well answer. You're Classified asking questions and answers. And apartments circled. She's moving to the east side. She ain't taking me with her. Wait, 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 you spying on me now? I ain't spying. What? I can't read How the paper. I can't spying. help out a friend. What if I'm ah, helping out a friend? Ah, she just said it. Helping out a friend. See, she's moving on up. You know, she ain't taking Monty. me. She's taking a friend. Monty. Some gratitude I get Monty, for helping you out. Come on, come no, on. No. What's wrong with being that a mechanic? Ain't... That's all I'm asking. What is wrong with being a mechanic? There is nothing wrong with being a mechanic, all right? So then? It's, no, no. I want to be the first one in my family. No, no, no. I want to be the first one in my. Monty, come on back. Come on back. Please. You know, we're here. I want to be the first one in my family to go to college, okay? My father didn't make it. My mother, bless her soul, 
She worked all her life ironing people's clothes, okay? I got three brothers, two in jail. Okay, I understand. I want to go to college. Okay. I want to better myself. I understand that. Yes. But you know I want you to tell her what kind of college. Let me find out about That's the cold, relationship. Girl. That's cold. College. No, 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 Angela, just hear him That's out. Cold. What kind of college he plans to go to? What kind of college do you plan to go <laughs> to? Mortuary college. No, 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 I don't think anybody in here heard you. What kind of college? I want to go to mortuary college. I want to become a mortician. Now, now, now you see why I'm freaked no, out. No, I don't. What's wrong with that? What's I wrong with that? some guy who put on makeup all day long on dead people. That's so what the problem not, is. It's not about makeup. I make people look good. That's a mechanic see, of sorts, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tuning up see, the body. I learned in this life, if you look good, you get in. Yeah. So what I do... Well, in, this, in that case, you look good, you go out. Th well, yeah, 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 yeah. But in the next life, yeah. if, if they look good because of me, it's an artwork, oh. they could get in. See, oh. I thought about this. Oh. See, I'm an artist. You can put that on your business card. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yes. Yeah. See, I'm not just a mortician, yeah. I'm an artist. Yeah. That's right, an I'm artist. an artist. An artist. Well, you know a what? smelly let's, artist. Let's talk about the relationship, because that's, that's why you're here, okay? Yes. Let's talk about the relationship. You have a problem with what he chooses to do for, for a profession. Yes. I help you all the time, man. Monty, you're ungrateful. Would you, you listen that? to the woman? She's talking. You know, I, I have a feeling that when you do graduate from that school, people are going to sit up in the coffin and talk to you. I really do. <laughs> I thought about this. It's like, <laughs> please. Are you willing to give up your relationship because of what he chooses to do for a profession? I did for you. Monty, would you let me answer? It's Lord, my turn now. Lord, you went answer. on for an hour, but answer. it's my turn now. Answer. I need time. I what? need time. For what? Explain Because to I'm me. not very comfortable. Just the thought of like laying side by side with some guy who you like can't catch hang out with dead people. For you know me. what I mean? You like, can't catch he's gonna it. come home smelling like them. But you, you know, do like, you know that? I mean, do you know anything about the profession at all? I thought about this. I did my homework, all right? I studied Monty, demographics. I'm be your first customer I, no, because you're getting on hello, my nerves. Hello. I studied demographics. Most of the people in my community mm -hmm. are baby boomers. Mm -hmm. You know what that means? In about 15 years, they'll be done. Well, Monty, the, their loved ones will be knocking on my door. Okay. I'm calling the Monty, market. You're not, Monty, you're not convincing me, okay? We're trying to talk about the relationship, okay? Please. She got to stand by me, man. I, I, I make a lot of money. No, I make five times as much as an Monty. auto mechanic. So what? I can send my kids to college. I might even buy Ariana. you a ring. Ariana. Do you, yeah, under, you've do you been understand that for how many Ariana. years? Ariana. Do you understand that the relationship is what we're talking about here? Now, you two are trying to get together. He is trying to do something. You went on and became a computer professional. I and stood beside I know, Monty. Would you let the woman finish? But now he wants to go and do something different than what he's doing now. Right. Do you understand that your relationship is what matters, not necessarily what he does for a living? Stand by your man. I mean, are you willing to give it up? Are you willing to give it up because of his profession? Well, no, not really. But with his attitude, I'm just mad. Well, I can feel you, you know on what that. I but, what you know what I mean? But you know, what you have, what you have, I have a question for you. You know, you have a, this idea of what he does for a living, what he wants to do for a living. But do you know anybody that does that? Have you investigated? No, no I don't. Okay, she knows nothing about it. I have. It's a wonderful job. People are dying to get into my business. Yeah, well, I've oh. only heard about it only two months ago. You know. I think I'm going to be your first customer. I really do. I'll, I'll book you <laughs> in about seven o'clock. Gosh. Do you understand, Ariana, what I, I'm saying? I, I do, I do. Do you, th do you think I there's do. a chance yeah, maybe, for the maybe relationship? Maybe I should talk to some people and, and, and maybe that will reinforce, open like, your mind. just open my mind. Are you mind? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Open your mind? Exactly. Especially if he's willing to close his mouth. Yeah. Great. Let's go to resolution. <laughs> As people mature and grow, and change direction, obviously it's hard to look at how can I lift them up. In this case, Ariana, you were afraid. And you're, you, what you did is you let your fear stop you dead in your tracks, no pun intended. And there's no reason to do that. If you let go of the fear, you'd be surprised what can happen. You, you know, there's nothing wrong with being afraid of the unknown, but you have to allow yourself to know. So you need to open your mind a little bit. Monty, your excitement for your new profession is admirable. However, you let the excitement overshadow the fact that you had to look at Ariana and understand her fear. And it's your responsibility to support her and make her feel okay with the fact that even though you're going on to do something else, you're not going to leave her behind and that you do still love her. That's your responsibility. And you need to do that with support, not lip service. You know, self-improvement within a relationship is wonderful. However, the other person has to look back and say, what can I do to make sure that you feel loved, nurtured, and cared for? Both of you wanted to improve, both of you wanted to improve your life, and that's great. But 
You say you did it for manly obligations. That's why you helped her. And she didn't want to help you because she felt threatened. You know, two reasons that aren't very good. Because in the long run, both of you benefit. If both of you improve yourselves, you both benefit. So what I would say to you is take a deep breath and say, hey, we will both end up on the, on the good side of this. And, you know, don't worry, Ariana. I mean, think about it. As long as you all keep the relationship alive, I mean, good and alive, you'll never rest in peace. And that's that, the final word. So that wraps up our show for today. Remember, when you're flying away from love, don't leave any baggage behind. And if you're driving for love, avoid the dead ends. How's that? Oh, David, I'll tell you. <laughs> Let's put that together, you know? It's pretty good. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, you've learned all of that and more today on Singles Court, the final word for singles. <laughs>